we only have a couple of days before Russell T. Davies' big Christmas extravaganza with those goblins. And they run around screaming, we love Satan, we want to eat babies. We got a baby, we can feast. We can die in three days at least. Yeah, Merry Christmas, right? Well, interesting news on this front. RTD has been saying a variety of different things in different media sources. The usual suspects of Collider, Screen Rant, CBR, you know, that whole group. What he is saying and then walking away from and then coming right back to it is that this Christmas episode is season one of Doctor Who. You heard that right. Those other 60 years, even that crap with Jodie Whittaker. Pretend I never happen and erase me from your mind. That doesn't count. There was a commitment of five seasons by Sony, the BBC, and Disney. In this article, RTD says he plans on sticking around. He's planning season three. He's planning season four. Here's the interesting statement. When it comes to this new era of Who, with Davies back at the helm and Shudi Gatwa has the Doctor, this will mark a reset of sorts for the show with this Shudi Gatwa Doctor Who being referred to as Season 1. I'm gay. Now, this terminology comes from Russell T. Davies himself. This is a quote from Russell T. Davies. At the risk of sounding sanctimonious. Oh, you, RTD, sound sanctimonious? Never. I don't normally like continuing series. That's why it's a sin game to end. And I just moved on. And uh, I just like looking at the new set of challenges every time. And the blank page. But Doctor Who's always a blank page. At the risk of sounding sanctimonious, but I really, really mean this. They were going to do this show anyway, and I genuinely thought it needs looking after. How's he been doing so far? Here is another statement from the end of that same article reinforcing the idea that the show is reset in Shudi Gawa is the first season of Doctor Who. Showrunner Russell T. Davies has previously said that this episode, the Christmas episode, Eat the baby and some salt, baby powdered malt. The church on Ruby Street is a reset for the 60-year-old show. So much so that it's being called season one with Dr. Shudi Gatwa in companion Ruby Sunday. Well, um played by Millie Gibson, beginning the legend anew from scratch. Now, I looked at some reviews. They're exactly what you expect. The writers are from CBR, Screen Rant, Polygon, IGN. So you know exactly what you're going to get. It's the usual drivel from Access Media celebrating representation in the message. Speaking of dumpster fires, let's take a look at Collider. Collider says, Doctor Who, the church on Ruby Road Review, a bundle of Christmas joy. Baby blood and baby bones, baby butter for the baby skull. So what are the talking points coming out of Collider? You know, a trusted bastion of entertainment news. The episode embraces LGBTQ plus themes and the concept of found family, making it more welcoming for queer viewers. Put a ticket in, make her gay. Davies already made Doctor Who a more welcoming place for the queer community in his first set of new episodes by exploring LGBTQ, I got it that time, themes and the gender spectrum. <laughs> With characters like the Doctor and Rose Noble. Yeah, Jason Noble, the 20-year-old guy in a dress pretending to be 14 years old. You're assuming he as a pronoun. True. Is that the representation you want in the queer community? Tell me in the comments section below. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. The article says that it is delighted that that continues in 
the church on Ruby Road. While the article doesn't want to spoil anything, Davies, who is part of the community itself, has made sure that LBGT... God damn... LGBTQ plus viewers can see themselves <laughs> in the episode. I know that's what I wanted a Doctor Who Christmas special. I want to see a 53 year old American guy who collects action figures and likes to bang chicks. <laughs> and were there bits he thought right? Tardis tick, got to keep that. Here is mine. <laughs> Daleks yes. tick, got to keep that. It's a problem with the Davros of old in that uh, he's a wheelchair user who is evil. There were some things that you really couldn't mess with. Really, you'd be stupid to clear out the icons. Um, um, or, or you might as well sit down and invent a brand new show. The article continues. And beyond the mere presence of queer characters, including the Doctor. That's right. <laughs> Sharpness. Oh, my God. Always oh, my God. Sharpness. That's so good. Oh. The episode centers around the concept of found family. Why does that sound a lot like why you take a pet to a salon? Which is a popular narrative that queer audiences gravitate toward. Doctor Who, by its very nature, has long featured this element as each TARDIS team tends to turn into a chosen family over time. It's mindless now, clicking towards oblivion. How long can I? Insufficient data. Yeah, you know, you know the answer when it's important. The article says, however, it's much more explicitly stated in the Christmas episode as the Doctor and Ruby connect over their common backgrounds. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. The other thing to know about Ruby Sunday is she has two moms. Because representation, kids, that's important. The 60 Years of Doctor Who before season one, The Great Reset of Doctor Who by Russell T. Davies. That. Yeah. Chock full of Russell T. Davies, kink, ideology, sexuality, and personal politics. There's the gags and the action at the top, and then there's the messaging yeah. somewhere in the middle, in the, in the yeah. bottom as well. And yeah. the characters and the emotion. Of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I don't think the characters and the action are for the adults and the best things for the kids. <laughs> Actually, it's that yeah. way around. Sounds like one hell of a heartwarming family Christmas episode. I'm Salty Traveling C. Merry Christmas. Chicken, chicken.